What's up everyone? In today's episode we are going to do a simple camera following script. So let's get started and let's just um, in our scripts we're just going to make a C sharp script. And we'll call it uh, camera follow. Alright so let's open up camera follow and let's just get rid of all this. And all right, so first thing we're gonna need is a target for our camera. So make a public transform, public transform target. And before we even do anything, let's just um, go to our camera and put this camera follow script on it and then set the target equal to our GFX and then let's adjust our camera to so something that we like let's make it zoomed in a little bit more and that should be good alright so now that we have our target we are going to create a late update so the reason why we're doing late update instead of update is we're gonna we want the camera to be a little bit smoother. It's gonna lag behind a little bit. So we're gonna say if target is not equal to null. So this is just to make sure that um, our target is equal to something. Otherwise, we can um, do something like if it is null, then we can say debug.log. Camera isn't set. Camera doesn't have a target. But you don't have to do that. So we're going to say transform dot position. So the transform dot position of the camera is going to be equal to vector three dot lerp we want a little bit of smoothing there transform dot position comma new vector 3 target position dot x target position dot y and then transform dot position dot z and then we're going to do time dot delta time. All right. So basically, this uh, the transform of the camera is going to lerp to the position of um, our target. And the reason why we use transform position z for our z uh, is because we don't want to mess with the Z of our camera. What will happen is, let's say, um, we mess around with the Z axis of our camera. Uh, let's see. Yeah, our character can disappear because what's happening, if you look at it in a 3D view, our camera is moving forward. And so it, it won't render what's behind it. So we need to always have our Z to something that's um well as long as it's the same and doesn't change you'll be fine so that's why we don't mess with the z value so we're setting the z value to the value it already is and so with all that um let's play the game and you can see that the camera now follows our character and you can see that the um, camera um, lags behind a little bit because we have it in late update and we're also using lerp so it um, won't immediately it won't immediately snap onto our character it's just going to follow it a little bit all right so if you don't want the lerp portion you can just copy this portion of the code 
and set it to transform dot position equal to new vector three like that. And then I'm gonna take the code out and see what this looks like. And so there's gonna be no smoothing at all. So pick whichever one you want. Well, that's how you do um, a camera follow. Maybe I can put in a little character for reference because it's hard to see if anything's happening. Um, let me put in another link. Let's make him bigger. All right. So this will be without any camera smoothing. This is with camera smoothing. And you can also add in a public um, float called this one speed. And we're going to multiply time dot double time by speed. So let's say you do want camera smoothing, but you don't like how slow it is. I should probably adjust the value first. Let's make it two. Okay. So this is just with a little bit of camera smoothing. Let's see how fast it was ten. And it's like can't barely notice it. Say with one, it's like very noticeable with it if it's one. So adjust that to the way you like, and that's it. All right, I'd like to thank my Patreons, um, Bay, Emerson, Kirijo, Polybius, and Yoan. Um, thank you guys for supporting me. If you want to become a patron, you can go to patreoncom devbird. Um, you can also join my Discord, link in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.